Hello, welcome Dumela Gel Amuhela. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the differences in Sesotho spoken in Lesotho and Sesotho spoken in South Africa. A lot of people have been asking me what is the difference, so I decided to make a video so that we can understand what are some of the differences in Sesotho spoken in Lesotho and Sesotho spoken in South Africa. So stay tuned and let's figure it out together. So, Sesotho is spoken in two countries, mainly in South Africa and in Lesotho. It is also spoken in Zambia, just a little bit of it. So, it has its own style in each place. Let's see what makes them a bit unique. In South Africa, however, it is diverse and people speaking Sesotho tend to use words from other languages. Um, where else in Lesotho, it can be just one standard uh, language that is used, which is Sesotho. It is not mixed with any other languages because it is not as diverse as in South Africa. Where else in South Africa, there's more than 11 um, languages spoken in the country. So when people speak Sesotho, they tend to add other words from other languages. In Lesotho, they have a strong accent and they elongate their words when they pronounce them. They also use a lot of idioms and figure of speech a lot more than when South Africans are speaking Sesotho. So they're more culturally when they are speaking um, Sesotho, where else in South Africa when they're speaking Sesotho, they are more localizing. Uh, they're using a lot of lingo when they are using and when they are speaking Sesotho. In Lesotho and South Africa, sometimes they use different words for the same things. Um, it's like saying car and auto or moto. It's the same idea, but it's different words. For example, the word tears is in when we cry in South Africa. Um, in English, the word is cry, but in South Africa, the word is dike lady. Tears dike lady. And in Lesotho, tears is miyoho. So it's just the same meaning, but it has different words. And people in Lesotho and South Africa, they understand each other, but they say some sounds, some of their sounds, they sound a bit differently. Uh, it's a bit like how people might sound different in different parts of a big country. Some say the differences are like having a little accent, well, they're quite right. It is there, but everyone still understands each other. It's a little more like talking to someone from a different state. You're both using English, but because you come from different states, your, your accent and the way you pronounce words is going to be different. So this is how some people would uh, see where you are from, whether you're from Lesotho or whether you're from South Africa. But the most common word that is being used that refers to a man is ndate. So ndate, a South African person would say ndate, that's how they would pronounce the word. But someone from Lesotho would say ndade, ndade. South Africa has words from other languages around. Like I've mentioned before, we have official, 11 official languages. So whenever we speak a certain language, we also add other words from other languages. So... It's like when we use words from other languages in our daily talk. If you use, um, if your native language is Lingali, and then you would just add in a little bit of English in your words. So it's the same thing in South African Sesotho. When we're speaking Sesotho in South Africa, we use some words from um, another language as well. So like in, in South Africa, people speaking Sesotho, they borrow a lot of words from Afrikaans. So Afrikaans is more familiar or it could sound the same with Dutch and German. So we borrow a lot of words from Afrikaans. So when we're referring to a window, um, people from South Africa might say fenster, which is an Afrikaans word for window. Or when we are referring to a pig, they might say fariki, which in Afrikaans is fark, fark. That's not a swear word. <laughs> All right. 
So while there's a proper way to write a sotu, how people talk every day might be a bit different. It's like having fancy writing, but also using cool everyday words. So the differences mainly are just depending where you are. Are you a local person? What vocab are you using? Do you borrow words from another language? Um, referring to Sesotho and also how you pronounce the words as well. So the differences mainly are just depending where you are. Are you a local person? What vocab are you using? Do you borrow words? Just like any other language, Sesotho has its own style in different places. So depending where you are, whether you're in Sesotho or you are in South Africa, the choices of words you choose to use and the way you pronounce words is just going to make it more interesting and special. It's like a reminder that a language is alive and it changes a bit with the people who speak it. Just like any other language, Sesotho has its own style in different So there we go. Those are the differences in Sesotho spoken in Lesotho and Sesotho spoken in South Africa. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And if you liked this, please give us a thumbs up Share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll be glad to see you next time as we continue to explore more cool stuff together involving Sisutu.